Alright guys, second video for the day. We're going to earn our demonetized status on this one. Glass Maxwell loses bid to keep her Jeffrey Epstein testimony secret. Oh shit, the elites are going to be so screwed. <laughs> I'm telling you now, there's no way this girl's going to make court anymore. If there were any doubts that this girl was going to survive her court hearing date, it was on the proviso that her testimony would be secret. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so many people have got so much to lose. And let's jump into it. New York, a US appeals court on Monday dealt with Gladys Maxwell a blow by refusing to block the release of a deposition she gave concerning her relationship with the late fiancé and registered sex, you know what, offender Jeffrey Epstein. I don't care, we're not going to be monetized on this video either. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan said there was a presumption the public had the right to see Maxwell's 418-page deposition, which was taken in April 2016 for a now-slated civil defamation lawsuit against her. In an unassigned order, the court also said the U.S. District Judge Loretta Preskin in Manhattan did not abuse her discretion in rejecting Maxwell's Meritless arguments that her interest subsedes the presumption. Lawyers for Maxwell did not immediately respond to quests for comment, including whether they had planned a further appeal. The order upheld Peskin's decision in July to release the deposition, hundreds of other documents from the 2015 defamation lawsuit by Virginia Guffrey, one of Epstein's accusers. That court case was settled in 2017 and many of the documents have been made public. But Maxwell's lawyer said bad publicity from the disclosing intimate and sensitive and personal details from that deposition could undermine her ability to defend against criminal charges that she enabled Epstein's abusers. Uh, 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 enabled Epstein's abuse. Um, they said that the British socialite thought her dis uh, dip Sorry, thought her the, the so let's start again. They said the British socialite thought her deposition would remain confidential and releasing it would violate her constitutional rights against self-incrimination and an impartial fair trial because the jurors might hold its con uh, contents against her. The appeals court separately rejected Maxwell's request to modify a protective order in a criminal case so that she could accuse confident material and that she had hoped would be pursued Preskins to keep her deposition under wraps. Maxwell, 58, has pled not guilty to helping Epstein recruit and groom underage girls as young as 14 to engage in illegal sex acts in the mid-1990s and not guilty of perjury for having denied the involvement in the deposition. If you're not going to be perjuring yourself, why are you claiming that the information that might be released might be criminal against you? Those two kind of things seem to be a little bit counterintuitive. A trial is scheduled for next July. They're dragging this out as long as they can because they want the girl dead. Guthrie said she once a teenage, uh, was a teenager when Maxwell pulled her into Epstein's circle where she was groomed and trafficked for sex with Epstein and other wealthy, powerful men. The push to unseal the deposition came from Gaffrey and Miami Herald newspaper, which had investigated Epstein's conduct and self-efforts in 2007 to avoid sex trafficking rings charges. Uh, actually, I think that was Mike Cernovich, actually. I believe the Miami Herald jumped on board at a later date, but anyway... Lawyer for Guffrey and the newspaper were not immediately available for comment. The U.S. Department of Justice, which opposed modifying the protective order, did not immediately respond to quests to comment. Maxwell was arrested on the 2nd of July in New Hampshire, where prosecutors said she had been hiding out. She had been locked up in a Brooklyn jail after the U.S. District Judge A. Ellison Nathan, who oversaw the criminal case, called her unacceptable flight risk. Epstein killed himself at age 60. No, he didn't. He, he, no, he didn't. He was murdered. Epstein... Hang on, let me fix this. Epstein was murdered at age 66 in April 19th at a Manhattan jail while waiting trial on federal sex trafficking charges announced at the previous month. He, he didn't kill himself. Okay, let's... Let's, yeah, let's, let's not beat around the bush. 
The case of the second U.S. Uh, Circuit Court appeals, uh, uh, Guffrey versus Maxwell, number to blah blah blah. The U.S. blah blah blah. I'm actually sure that was the thing that Cernovich was involved in. I might actually reach out to him and ask him. Um, but my understanding was is that this had nothing to do with the Miami Herald. Not initially, that it was actually Zernovich that was actually pushing this. Um, Cernovich was the one working for the victims, not the Miami Herald. But, you know, hey, let's not get facts then in the way of patting ourselves on the back. Right, mainstream media? Um, because, look, at the end of the day, obviously, the, this is a big problem for Maxwell. This is a big problem for anybody that has been named in that previous deposition. Um, and at the end of the day, this is something that is going to be very, very, very interesting. Uh, we might have another case of suicide. Yeah, what do you guys think? I don't think she's going to make court case in July. I just have a sneaking suspicion. I kind of hope she does. I kind of hope she does. And I kind of hope she drags all the elites down with her. But I have a sneaking suspicion she's not. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. But from that, guys, obviously this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Remember, Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. And apart from that, uh, Glenn Maxwell is probably not suicidal right out now either. But hey, you know, I'm sure they'll push that narrative. Have a great night. Enjoy yourselves. I'll see you in the third video. We're going to have a laugh. It's involving Hillary Clinton. It's, it's, it's our favorite punching bag. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great night, everybody.